I just left my annual women's exam, my GYN exam, and I don't like going to the doctor. But you know what? It's so necessary. And I'm so thankful that um, I have great insurance for one. If you don't have great insurance, it's really hard to maintain your health. And I pray that this system that we're in changes because so many people don't get the necessary required health checks that they should because they can't afford to pay for it. I'm thankful to have insurance, um, you know, because like I said, it, it really, really matters in your life. Your health is your wealth. So I left the GYN. I literally don't like going to the GYN for many reasons. Number one, because you're sticking them cold tools up in my body and that just don't feel good. Not at all. It don't feel good at all, but it needs to be done. And so I got it done and um, everything came out okay. I'm healthy. I had to go get a blood test drawn because they said you might be perimenopausal. The things that you go through as you get more seasoned and more wise and your numbers increase. Age ain't nothing but a number though. So that was my afternoon. Now I'm getting ready to go meet a client at a house because we have a building inspection and hopefully and prayerfully this will pass okay this too shall pass make it a great day so i just arrived at the property and the inspector is not here yet so i will sit here and wait nice neighborhood my husband and i just bought this as part of our investment portfolio and we are excited for the new tenant that's going to be moving so we did not pass the inspection the first go around and typically this is how it happens in my life <laughs> um, but i'm really excited because it wasn't a lot of things that need to be done there was some things done on the back deck with some fascia and soffit that need to be painted and scraped uh, a piece of the gutter was hanging uh, there was a hole in the wall where the people that installed the air conditioning unit did not um, seal the hole there was a couple of things one gfci unit was missing a plate and it needs to be cleaned. We always like to make sure that our tenants move into a clean home before um, we rent it out to them. But overall, this is a nice square footage home. It's about 1,300 square feet, finished basement, nice huge backyard. I literally think the tenant is gonna be extremely happy and we love our tenants to be happy because they pay their rent, okay? They pay their rent, um, but we also recognize that municipalities have guidelines and restrictions and as a real estate investor, you must be mindful and be aware of what is needed and required before tenants move in. Because if they move in and you don't take care of those things, you can be fined um, and that's not what you wanna do. You're in the business to make money, not be fined, okay? So um, we're gonna go ahead and get these things done within the next week to two weeks and hopefully and perfectly we'll get it done before uh, the end of the month so the tenant can move in towards the end of the month beginning of the month because she has to be out of her current place by november 1 and it's our goal to meet that expectation of our clients so that is a wrap with this now moving forward to the next part of my day thanks for tuning in so i was driving out of the neighborhood and i saw this home looks really good lots of things that need to be done as a real estate investor you're always looking at property driving through neighborhoods geez trees are huge but this may be a great potential i'm gonna have to look this up and see if i can find out what's going on with it absentee owner or something along those lines just drove through the neighborhood again and found this one looks like it's in pretty decent condition on the outside their roof probably needs to be replaced up there but other than that don't know what it looks like inside but outside hey curb appeal is everything check this one out too the life of a real estate investor so now i'm going into the post office to collect a rent check ain't nothing like picking up those just right now to look in the mailbox and see what's going on if it came in, I'll let you know if it came in today. Uh, street taco or something like that. Oh, yeah, that's all right. It's all right. This is better. Nah, I don't know about that. This is better to me. Thank you. Right. That looks good. Yama. 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 Yama.
Hold on, hold on. I gotta change something here. No, nah, you had it on video. That's a cute picture. <laughs> you know what? Ain't hey, Christine gonna always be that word. She is the yeah. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Hallelujah! <laughs> Aunt Christine is a little young heart. That's the absolute. She a little young heart. She got. Okay, today has been a day. Um. I just left my cousin's funeral. I haven't seen my cousin in about 30 years. One thing that I can say, love your people while they're here. We haven't seen each other in about 30 years for many reasons. Um, he grew up, I grew up. Life changed, things changed, situations changed, people move away, people grow up. But um, he looked different, he looked different. I also got to see my cousins, two of them that I hadn't seen in about 30 years as well. So today has been kind of a somber day. My cousin died. He had a really, really rough life. I mean, he lived and did some things. But from my understanding, towards the latter part of his life, he gave his life to Christ. And I do know now he is with God. And my aunt and my uncle, they were... Um, they were great parents and they did what typical parents do so um yeah he died of a heart attack and you know we never know when we're gonna go age is just the number literally 43 years old is very young very young so i'm thankful that i did get to see my cousins today one from texas and one from mississippi i got to see their children at least one of their children or two of their children and I got to talk to one on the phone. So all of that, yes, I know I'm rambling along here, but uh, today has been one of those days. So love your people while you're with them. You know, people get into it with family members and stuff. And I'm telling you, all this stuff never pans out because you really don't want people to leave this earth and you not know, first of all, that they love you or you love them and that you forgive them. Forgiveness, it is essential for peace, peace within your soul and your spirit. Just one of them days that a girl wants some beans. Just one of them days that a girl wants some beans. Speckled butter beans. Turkey tails. Yummy, super delicious and healthy with all the fiber you can get. Yum. Food by Michelle. As you heard on Seahawks Radio in that game in Cleveland, the story, though, Baker Mayfield's been taken to the locker room. Here come the Chiefs, and they blow the play down. Flag down. The false start. The full snap. Full start. Offense, number 78. Five-yard penalty. Second down. That's when we really got to kind of take So we are downtown Springfield, Missouri, doing a foodie run with the fam. Foodie run, foodie run, and we're trying this place called Black Sheep Burgers and Shakes. We're gonna see how this tastes. Yum, yum, yum. We love foodie rolls. Yeah. Awesome, how are you? Good, you have four? Yes. Uh -huh. So they have burgers. There's Ro on the phone right there. Hey, Ro, how you doing? <laughs> That's my sweet soon-to-be daughter-in-law. But they have good burgers here. And we're getting ready to see what we like. Uh, you know, I love all kind of foodie stuff. Foodie, foodie, foodie. So they even have a burger called Foodie. So I don't eat beef or pork. I'm going to have to find either a vegan burger or a chicken burger so let's see 
what I get. And then it got some truffle fries here too. Super yummy. Online I saw they had some fried pickles, but I don't see them on the menu, so that's something to ask about. So they have a lot of shakes as well. Non-alcoholic, alcoholic shakes, drinks, <laughs> drafts. No, I don't know. Not too much to choose from. Sometimes too much to choose from is not good at all. They just delivered the different kinds of fries. Which one is which? Salt and pepper. Apple was smoked. Sauces. They just got their shakes. Looks super yummy. Y'all the burgers have arrived. And then being that I don't eat beef or pork, they gave me a chicken sandwich. It looks super yes. yummy. Super yummy. Super yummy. Chicken, chicken, chicken. A chicken burger. Let's see how it tastes. We always do damage when we get together. Did you all enjoy that? You enjoy that? What about you? Good? Yes. Very good. Very good? Very, very good. Awesome. So the black sheep was really good. Yo. I think of the black sheep. It was super delicious. Yeah. Ah. Is extremely full tonight. No, you the refrigerator of college students. What the heck is all this crap in here? <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm like, yeah, uh huh. Where is this stuff that I bought the last time that I was here? My three favorite men when i'm just missing and that's my daddy but my babies yeah. <laughs>